Hello, I am Cobkit, and we have a tutorial for you today. Uh, we are going to show you how to make this creeper boat banner. This is my assistant, Kvetnik6. Uh, let's see. For those of you who are fans of the Truly Bedrock Realm series, you can see that these guys, these charge creepers in boats, are everywhere. So I thought it would be fun to try to design a creeper boat banner. Um, this is the banner design that we came up with, and I think it looks really good. You get the charge creeper aura, you know, kind of looks like a boat, definitely looks like a creeper. Um, let's see, the materials that you need to make this banner are here. Um, so you'll need six light blue wool and a stick to make an actual banner. Um, you can see some of these materials are actually very hard to get in survival. This is actually quite challenging. Uh, and that's why I thought a tutorial focused on new players kind of going through some of these mechanics would be a good idea. So you need a wither skull and a, creeper, and a creeper head. Uh, cocoa beans, there's a couple different dyes to make, there's some enchanting that needs to happen. Um, so anyway, I thought a variety of skills this might be interesting to uh, new players. Okay. So let's start going through it. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to make is a light blue banner. Um, you can make other ones, you can make cyan or white, but let's just go with this design. So you need six pieces of light blue wool and a stick. This is your crafting grid, this is how you would make it. Um, this is something that you could of course auto-complete. Um, okay, so let's go through this. So where do you get light blue dye? So you can make light blue dye directly from blue orchids. You can find blue orchids in swamps. You can also make it by mixing white dye and blue dye. Now there's now two ways to get white dye. You can either get it from bone meal. You can get, obviously get bones from skeletons or from fish. Um, you can also make white dye from lilies of the valley, which you can find just about everywhere. Um, blue dye is lapis lazuli, which you will mine underground. Um, you can also make blue dye from cornflowers. So if you mix one white and one blue dye together, you will make two light blue dye. Okay, so what about the wool? So if you take one piece of wool and one piece of light blue dye, uh, that will give you one piece of light blue wool. But there's another thing that you can do. Uh, Nick, if you'd like to demonstrate. You, go. you can take a piece of light blue dye and you can dye a sheep. Okay, there we go. Uh, now that that sheep is dyed blue, when you share its wool, it will always drop blue wool, and when it grows that wool back, it will be... That, is that white now? Or does it just look white in your hand? Oh, well, that's a weird glitch. Okay. Well, Bedrock Edition, what are you going to do? Um, when this sheep eats uh, the grass to regrow his wool, it will always be light blue. So that's using one piece of light blue dye to get pretty much as much light blue wool as you need. Okay, so that's step one. Craft yourself a light blue banner. Now, from this point, this is when things start to get hard. Uh, your next ingredients are going to be a wither skull and some lime dye. So how do you get lime dye? Um, you can actually make lime dye directly uh, if you collect sea pickles, which you can get in coral reefs, and smelt them in a furnace. That will make lime dye. You can also get it by mixing white dye, which you can get using the ways that we just discussed, uh, with green dye. And you get green dye by smelting cactus in a furnace. So mixing a white and a green will give you two lime green dye. Now the wither skull is an entirely different deal. Okay, so how do you get a wither skull? That is a completely different thing. All right, let's come over here. So wither skeletons will drop wither skulls as a rare drop. So you can go to the nether with any old sword. You fight enough wither skeletons, eventually one is going to drop a skull. If you want to improve your rates, though, you would want to use a looting sword. Okay, so how do you get a looting sword? Um, you can take a diamond sword and enchant it on the enchanting table. So this will require lapis and levels, but it's a random process. 
you can see here the max enchantment is Unbreaking 3. That will usually come with some type of secondary enchantment, but you don't really have much control over it. To get those max level enchantments, you need to have 15 bookcases uh, surrounding the enchanting table. There's not really any point in putting any more other than aesthetic that will give you the max level uh, with nothing in between. Now the other way that you can enchant is using enchanted books. So here we have an enchanted book and we use an anvil, put the sword and the book into the anvil and you can add the enchantment to it. Now we have a looting three sword. So if you were to go just hunt wither skeletons in a fortress now you would have a looting three sword to do that. Okay. Now the other way that you can get a wither skull is to have a wither skeleton blown up by a charged creeper. <laughs> you can see we've had some problems doing this. We've had a couple misfires already. That's why there's some floating dirt blocks. Okay. So when a wither skeleton is blown up by a charged creeper, it will drop a wither skull 100% of the time. Okay. So how do you get a charged creeper? Um... You get a charged creeper when a creeper is hit by lightning. So how can you do that? Uh, one way is just to have a creeper follow you uh, and get stuck in a boat. When a mob is in a boat, they won't despawn. They can't go anywhere. So if you wait for a thunderstorm, you have a creeper in a boat, there's a reasonable chance that that creeper might get struck by lightning. Um, not every time, but the way that lightning works on bedrock, it seems pretty reliable. If you want to have a little more control over the situation, you can make a channeling trident. So you get tridents as rare drops from fighting drowns. They will probably be damaged. You can repair those damaged tridents uh, by combining them uh, either in your crafting grid or using the anvil. Uh, once you have a trident, you'll want to add at least the channeling enchantment to it. This is the enchantment that lets you hit mobs with lightning during a thunderstorm. You will probably also want to add the loyalty enchantment. This is the enchantment that lets the trident return to you after you've thrown it. Um, another advantage of using books to do this, uh, you can get books from villagers or loot um, or fishing. Um, another advantage of using the anvil is that you can combine multiple enchantments. Now, you can't put an enchanted item into the enchanting table. You can get both of these enchantments on the enchanting table. Again, it's a random process. Um, but you can add multiple enchantments to an item using the anvil. And here we have our channeling and loyalty trident. And Nick already has one, so I guess I'll just won't worry about that. Okay, so let's go over here and look at this setup. Do you need to use an obsidian box? No, you don't. But the explosion from charged creepers is extremely powerful. Um, obsidian is highly blast resistant, and if you're behind it, it's less likely that you're going to die in survival. You'll also notice that we have a couple extra boats sitting here. The lightning strikes will, on occasion, I think maybe it seems like maybe about one in three times, will break the boat, uh, and that'll release the mobs. <laughs> You'll have a wither skeleton and a charged creeper chasing you. Having another bo boat laid down um, will hopefully catch them if they get broken out of their boat. Okay, Nick, go ahead and turn on a thunderstorm. Hit that creeper with lightning. Ah, they stayed in the boat this time. Excellent. Okay, so go ahead and turn the thunderstorm off. We don't want anything interfering. Got it? Okay. Alright, now comes the trick. You want to run up to the creeper with flint and steel, light it, and then run away before it explodes. You do. Go ahead. Look out. Well, didn't go quite to plan, but that was what was supposed to happen. So you can see here that we dropped a bunch of things, but we have a wither skull. Okay, so that was that step. So what's next? Okay, so you put your light blue banner into here. <laughs> now we're just at the first step. Um, and this die will color this wither skull and give you the sort of skull and crossbones. Okay, so that's step one. 
Now we need a creeper head, the other hard to get ingredient. Okay, so let's go back. The setup is actually very similar. Uh, you can see we have them set up over here. Okay, now unlike the wither skeleton, uh, you can only get a creeper head from having another creeper killed by a charge creeper. There's no other way to do it in survival. Okay, Nick, you want to go ahead? Look out! Ooh, okay. And now we have our creeper head. All right, so running back over here to our crafting grid. All right. So you place this banner in the center, put a creeper head and lime dye, and that will add this shape, this kind of unusual shape. Because basically that's the creeper face layer. So now we have a skeleton with crossbones with a creeper head on top of it. Okay. So the next step is to start basically blocking off these two sides of the banner. So you use a line of light blue dye here, and that will block this off on this side. And then you use another line of light blue dye here, and that will block up this. So this gives us our creeper body. Okay. So the next step after that is to place the banner and you put a line of cocoa beans underneath, basically creating a stripe of brown. Where do you get cocoa beans? You get cocoa beans in jungles. They only grow on the sides of jungle trees. Uh, you can only plant them on the sides of jungle trees. So you'll have to find a jungle to do this. Okay. Um, let's see. Inventory's full of garbage at this point. Okay. Nick's going to demonstrate, and then you can replant it. Okay. Yep, there you go. All right, so let's see. One more step. Um, if you take this b banner, you can use vines to get this nice shape here, um, and we want a cyan vine surrounding this shape. That'll help give the boat its shape. It also kind of defines the charged creeper aura a little bit. So to get vines, you can find vines growing on, you know, trees all over the place. They're not too uncommon. They found in swamps or even just forests. Um, you collect vines off of trees using shears. Nick, did you want to demonstrate that? There you go, and they will drop. If you break it with your hand, they'll just break. So you need to use shears or any tool that's been enchanted with silk touch, uh, using again either the anvil or the enchanting table. Okay, cyan dye is made by mixing blue dye, which you, know, you can use either lapis or get blue dye from cornflowers, uh, with green dye that you get from smelting cactus to make cyan dye. So put that onto your crafting grid like this and you will get uh, the charge creeper banner now that gets you your first banner now one nice thing about banners is you would not want to have to go through that whole process of getting both a wither skull and a creeper skull um, every time you wanted to craft this so what you can actually do is you can combine you can basically copy banners you use a crafting table take a banner that uh, you know it's a light blue banner base you just take another light blue banner, an empty one, and make a copy. And you can make as many copies as you want. Um, a lot of these crafting instructions that I told you, you are going to have to manually place those. The system's not going to know what you're really trying to do. So you can see now we've got, well, I'm in creative, so I can place as many as I want. But you saw I had three there. Okay, um, that is the basics. You can make this with different backgrounds. You can make it with a white banner. Um, different variants look good. I actually think the white one looks pretty good. But I think this is probably my favorite because it looks like a, yep, looks like a creeper in a boat. And let's see. So you, it's a fun challenge to do in survival. Uh, it's sort of iconic to the truly bedrock realm. And I suppose that is it for this tutorial. I want to thank my assistant, Nick. Thank you. And we will be back with you with more fun things for Minecraft Bedrock. Thanks so much. Bye. Say bye.
Oh, and you see, uh-oh, 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 run for it, run, run, run. Okay. 